Hey everyone, KeithBot here with a new guide on three new characters in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Today, we're looking at the Plasma P, the Chester Chomper, and Dr. Chester. The Plasma P is a glowy blue pea shooter variant. It has the same health and speed as a regular pea shooter with no extra abilities. The Plasma P uses the Plasmic Disruptor, which can fire 14 times at 3 times a second before needing to take a 2 second reload. The Plasma Disruptor can also charge up to 2 different damage levels. The non-charged shot can deal 20 damage for a direct hit and 10 damage for the splash effect. The first damage level charges in 1 second and can deal 35 damage for a direct hit and 15 damage for the splash damage. The second damage level takes 2.5 5 seconds to charge up, and can deal 70 damage for a direct hit, and 30 damage for the splash damage. After a fully charged blast hits the ground, it takes an extra second to explode, and deal the 30 splash damage. But it will explode immediately if you manage to hit an enemy. A Plasma P is a very versatile pea shooter, but if you can't master the charge mechanic, then I don't recommend this pea shooter for regular use. The next character pulled straight from a Cheetos bag is Chester Chomper, who is more than just a regular chomper. Chester Chomper has less health than the regular Chomper, weighing in at 150 HP. But to balance this out, this Chomper has a need for cheese, with the ability to swallow zombies at 2 seconds after the 1.5 second animation, which is faster than the other Chomper's 3 seconds to swallow enemies. Chester Chomper's attack is called the Cheesy Chomp, which snaps down on enemies 3 times a second, dealing 25 damage for each snap, while making a cheetah growl noise. I'd easily choose this Chomper over the regular Chomper for the faster swallow time. The Chester Chomper also comes with two new abilities, which can be used by all of the other Chompers. The two new abilities are called Cheesy Goop and Chester Weed. Cheesy Goop acts similar to Super Sticky Goop, slowing down enemies for 3.5 seconds, and then deals up to 10 damage for direct impact, and then 5 damage for splash damage. And on top of that, Cheesy Goop deals 10 damage a second for 3 seconds. I like the Cheesy Goop the best since it deals more damage, and it's a different color than the normal Goop, making enemies stand out a lot more. Also, the Cheesy Goop takes 10 seconds to recharge. The Chester Weed behaves similar to the Spiky Spike Weed, dealing 35 damage a second, once stepped on for 2 seconds. You can have 2 Chester Weeds in reserve, with each needing 1 minute 20 seconds to cool down. Also, you can only have 2 out at a time, making it identical to the Spiky Spike Weed. Except for the growl it makes. The first new scientist variant we've gotten in a while is Dr. Chester, who has the same health and speed as all the other variants. Dr. Chester uses the Cheese Blaster, which can fire 6 times at 3 times a second, with each shot dealing 25 damage, but it has an extremely limited range, like the Chemist, and does less damage. The Cheese Blaster takes 2 seconds to reload, making this variant not all that great if you already have the Marine Biologist or Chemist. Dr. Chester also came with three new cheese-based abilities that can be used by all the scientist variants. The first being the Sticky Cheetah Ball, which deals 75 damage and acts just like the Sticky Explody Ball, where it can have two in reserve and takes 30 seconds to cool down for one use. This makes the Sticky Cheetah Ball deal more damage, but it stands out more depending on the level, so be careful which one you choose, either go for purple or orange. The Cheetah Heal Station is next, and it heals at about 12 HP per second, and lasts 15 seconds and has a 30 second cooldown. This is my new favorite heal station, because it beats the snot out of healing 5 HP a second, plus it has a cool Cheetah Growl, which can also get really annoying. The final ability is Cheesy Warp, which launches you straight forward dealing damage to any nearby plants as you reappear again. I don't know how much damage you do because the damages weren't showing up in my gameplay for this ability, but I don't think it's very much. You can only warp once and you need to wait 14 seconds to use it again. I'd rather use the original warp ability since once you're up close you can deal out a huge amount of damage as a scientist. And oh hey, before you go check out my other variants guides on all the other characters as well and my ability guides so you can stay one step ahead of your competition. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook so you can keep up to date on all my videos. Last but not least, subscribe for more awesome videos. And I'll see you next time.